Francis from Calabra. I'm going to talk about the canvas overlays and improvements work I did earlier this year. I'd like to talk a bit about the work done on canvas overlays and client side grids. Overlays are objects like text selection, cell cursors, cell area selection, etc., that needs to appear over the tile images. We now draw tile images on a canvas called the main canvas rather than using image elements as we used to do in the past. Similarly for overlays we used to employ SVG elements to show them over the tiles. But now we draw these overlay objects onto the main canvas over the document area where we paint the tiles. Client side grids. Now we draw grids for the calcap at the client side on the main canvas itself rather than making the core paint them onto the tiles. This is now possible since the client knows the size of each row and column and also whether they are hidden or filtered using the sheet geometry core API. The client gets the document background color from the core so it paints that color on the canvas rather than having them in the tiles. Here are some screenshots of overlay objects. More on the topic of overlays on the main canvas. All new code for the canvas overlays are in TypeScript, just like most of the tile painting code is. One good side effect of this move is that we use core pixel coordinates everywhere and we no longer need an intermediate coordinate system like latitude longitude. It also made things easier to introduce unit tests for custom internal data structures used to represent the overlay objects. The overlays are painted on the main canvas after drawing grids and tiles. This painting order is configured in the canvas section container, which manages the painting of sections on the main canvas. The style properties of all the objects like fill, stroke color, opacity, border thickness, etc. are configurable via CSS variables. Since the overlays are now in the canvas, the Cypress tests can't test them directly. For helping these tests, the overlay coordinates and states are exposed as a JSON text inside dedicated div elements for each overlay objects. But this is done only when the client is run under Cypress. More on client side grids. In the core side, grid and the background color are no more painted in the tiles. But since there is no information about merge cells on the client, the core needs to draw borders for merge cells using the background color on the tiles to hide the client grids in such areas. In the client side, the document area is first painted with the background color. After that, the grids are drawn and then the tiles are painted. We get some performance wins due to the client side grids. Due to the absence of tile grids, the tiles for empty areas are nearly empty. We can render empty areas in the client without waiting for the tiles. This makes a notable difference on rapidly scrolling or panning to empty regions. Here is a list of source code files related to the canvas overlays. That's all for me. Thank you for listening.